of intercession is the greatest act of love you could do for anybody. Jesus said in John 15, 12, and 13, he said, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. And then he goes on to say, greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friend. Jesus came to the earth, Isaiah 59, 16, as an intercessor. He bridged the gap between God and sinful man. He was the intercessor. Are you listening? So what he's saying here in this scripture is the greatest act of love you can do for someone is to lay down your life, give your time to the prayer of intercession on the behalf of another person. For example, you love your pastors, correct? It's really nice to bring them pies and cookies and food and all kinds of things like that because you're showing them that you love them. And maybe that's your love language, acts of service. But did you know that the greatest act of love you can do for your leadership is to lay down your life, give time over to the prayer of intercession, stand in the gap for them, and intercede for them? And listen, you may not, you know what, the, the leadership may not see it, what you're doing, but God said, I see, says the Lord, and I will reward you openly. Whatever you do in secret, God always has a reward. I've been on assignment for many, many, many leaders throughout my walk with God since I learned about the prayer of intercession. And what God showed me in that was we think that it's the preacher doing all the work. And it's the preacher, oh, he's so anointed, or she's so anointed. Oh, the preacher, and man, we had a move of God. And oh, the preacher was hot on fire. But nobody knows about the intercessors that are in the back room, hiding in the closet, so to speak, and standing in the gap and praying on the behalf of that leadership and because prayer opens up the door for God to work, it opened up the door for people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. It opened up the door for signs and wonders and miracles. It opened up the door for that leader to be so anointed. Yes, they study to show themselves approved unto God. Yes, they do what's right. But you know that when you pray, uh, pray for them, it causes a fresh fire and a fresh anointing to come upon them.